19 minutes to 7 is the time. Today marks one year since the abduction of Sarah Everard. Her murder at the hands of a serving police officer sparked a national debate on women's safety and a report commissioned by the Home Secretary which found that there was an epidemic of violence against women in the UK. Campaigners say there's still work to be done to change this, as Fiona Lambden has been finding out. Grief, anger and heartbreak. The vigil for Sarah Everard last year, where calls for change reverberated across the UK. Sarah had been kidnapped, raped and murdered by Wayne Cousins, a serving police officer. He was sentenced to life in prison. But while many campaigners say not enough is being done to tackle violence against women, work is taking place across the UK to try to find answers. And often, this starts in the classroom. So your friend is constantly sending his girlfriend text messages, asking her where she is, who she's with, and what she's doing. This isn't just friendly chat. You get the feeling he's obsessed, jealous, and always needs to know her every move. These are the anti-bullying ambassadors for their school in South Yorkshire. If this was happening to you, would you be happy about it? Do you think she's happy about it? I'd feel really uncomfortable that someone's trying to take over my life and be really obsessive over me and not let me do other things without them. Trained to be upstanders, not bystanders. There was like an argument, but they were using like bad, mean language, which, which we're not allowed to use in school. Um, and, then, um, and then I walked up and said, um, we don't accept that language around here, it's not acceptable. And before you had done the course, do you think you'd have been brave enough to intervene? Mm, no, I don't think I would have. So far, eight schools in the county have signed up to the scheme, which is run by the Violence Reduction Unit. They've got a set of attitudes that they can go into adulthood with, with and feel proud of and feel and be able to form good and healthy relationships with other people as they grow older. On the anniversary of Sarah's death, these groups are some of the many trying to build a society in which women and girls are safe and feel safe everywhere. Fiona Lambden, BBC News.